Here's a clip of me drifting at my local track in real life, and so after this we're going to take a look at some other games and see how they do for drifting versus actually drifting in real life. Let's jump into it. Alright, today we're going to be checking out Horse and More Sports, Assetto, and Beam NG for which one has the best one for drifting. I mean, personally I prefer Assetto, but let's see how they all do. Today we're on my home track here, um, SRD track in North Dakota. I just feel like the worst feedback on here is just way better. It just feels natural. Like it's super easy to drive. Just like it is in real life. Best part about this as well is you don't need like an insanely high level computer to like be able to run it at high FPS. All right, we're gonna be looking at another track here. This is the most recent Formula Drift track that they ran. It's the one at Road Atlanta. So uh, we can do this one in BeamNG as well. Unfortunately, they don't have this one in Forza Motorsports, but we're gonna use Maple Valley since the guy has the same long looping layout. So with that, Assetto has like some of the best force feedback and it just feels really natural, kind of close to what you'd get for in real life. You know, you let go of the wheel, it comes back, you know, you get that counter steer pretty easily set up. Um, I don't know if it's just like the mods that are in there that are just really well set up or if it's more or less the um, overall feedback. Let's jump into the next one and see how it goes. So far. Seto is the king, as always. Alrighty, we are here in Beam NG Drive, and we're gonna be testing out the drifting in that. Now, it's pretty close to what my car looks like, and so I've looked at a couple videos on how to set up the force feedback to make it as close to uh, that didn't go well. As close to um. A seto as I can, but unfortunately it is not quite the same. It just doesn't have that feel to it. But after a little bit of setup and changing some things in the car, we're able to get a little bit better here. So this is kind of our first run. Not great, but also the downside is uh, gearing-wise, it doesn't shift as quick as I really think it should. spin out there but other than that uh, still on the steering wheel just doesn't feel as good as Assetto does it doesn't have that responsiveness and doesn't have that wheel centering like Assetto does and how it feels in real life so fortunately it didn't go very well but we will So here we have it, where we've done a little bit more modifications here. And now we are on a controller, so... It definitely still just feels terrible. I don't... This is even after setting up for what people said was good for setting up as a controller drifter. Or drifting, and... It still feels absolutely horrible. Um, so I really wish with, with the physics and like the custom 
customization of it. I really wish it just felt better, like it does in, you know, Assetto, but it just doesn't compare at all. Assetto is still king in my personal opinion. I'm try giving it a little bit more power here, seeing if that helped a little bit, but it just doesn't. Again, this is still a controller, so... But we were able to get an okay run here. Looks very ugly, that's for sure. But the physics, that's that's one thing I really like on there. So now we are all the way into Forza Motorsports here. And this is with um, normal steering on, on the wheel. We do have a little bit more power. We got around 600 horsepower here, so... 650, uh, I think it was. So... Definitely with normal steering on, it feels a lot better. But it's definitely nothing close to... Assetto, either. Um, so it's mistakes. Again, they also don't have anything on here for setup for drifting, so it's like you get the drift to the angle steering and stuff on it, like angle kit and whatnot, but then they don't give a multiplayer setup for drifting, which is kind of annoying. It's, I really wish they added that. But this is a little bit of in cockpit view of uh, drifting here. And this is, uh... I'm oh, sorry, this is with the... This is with the simulation steering on, so it's definitely way harder. It, simulation steering in here just doesn't feel good at all. It's... It's horrific as well. I've tried a bunch of different steering setups and whatnot, and, like, it feels fine, like, racing and everything, but, like... When it comes to drifting, it just does not feel the same at all. So, and this was with a pretty decent setup, and I looked up different ways to make it grip up and, you know, tune it correctly. Still didn't make a difference. Um, yeah, so. Fours are so far not great. But let's give the controller a try on Forza and see how that goes. And once you, uh, once you put in controller, it does way better. And so this game definitely is just built for a controller. I mean, that's how Forza is. You're going to always have a quicker time, I guarantee it, on a controller than you will have it on a wheel setup. Or you'll just be able to control your car better. Because um, that's just how they have it set up originally without making any modifications to... The controller or anything like that. I'm sure you could even do an even better job um, if you actually tuned and changed things on the controller. But it's without doing anything, and you still drift pretty well on it. But overall, I'm I'm gonna admit like didn't do great on either. I really, really, really want Beam and G to be a a better drift simulation, just because like, with the physics, it's a lot more fun doing it that way. I mean, I'm not great at it, but I still really enjoy it. Um, but none of it, except for Assetto, will come close to real life. And with that, um, I know some people that are in the, the Pro-Am series, and they use this Assetto to run and practice before they go down there and actually take runs. And it really helps them out. So I'd say Assetto is going to always be your best drift simulator. Um... A lot of these other ones are trying to be, you know, they're racing, they're not really meant for that, and they don't really do it that well, but Assetto has got down pretty well along with the modding community to have everything set up really nicely. I mean, if you're on a controller, then Forza should be really easy for you as well, but uh, definitely Assetto is going to be the one for drifting, and I don't think anything else can really match that. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next episode. Have a great day.